and welcome back to my channel. My door is open, I've just realised, and that's really annoying me. But, well, okay, it's fine for now. So, this strange video is about how I started to actually enjoy revising, how I started to enjoy making notes and posters, etc, etc, which is a really strange concept I am aware of. I know a lot of people don't like revision, they find it, like, boring and tedious and stressful, but I found a way that works for me. That I enjoy it and therefore I'm more willing to do it. So let's talk about that. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, helps me know that I'm doing well and that you all like the stuff I'm doing, which is really helpful for me. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. So I started to find myself being really satisfied with like the work I did. I got satisfaction from doing the work, which is very helpful for like you wanting to do it again so if you're satisfied with something once you're more likely to do it again if you're satisfied with buying something you're more likely to buy it again same kind of goes for revision at least for me I started this isn't even at the stage of enjoying it I just started to feel like proud of myself for having done it and then as I continued felt more proud as I did more and more and more it's also really good to feel like you're on track of your work and you're on top of your work and you're kind of in control so for example, history, you have a lot of notes to make, a lot of notes. And I probably, I think I started making history notes in fourth year, about Christmas time. So that's the first year of GCSEs, but it was about Christmas time when I started making notes, maybe, maybe November, after half term, when I started making notes, I just went from the start, maybe it was RE. <gasps> oh, it could have been RE. It was either RE or history when I first did this and started making notes as I went along. I found it so helpful in the like I, I felt like I was on top of the work I felt like I was in control of the work because I knew it not very well not like fully well but I knew it more than doing a topic and forgetting about it so it, it really helps you to feel like you are on top of your work and you're in control of the work that you have to do so when exam season came around in June of fourth year and then January and actual GCSE exam season in fifth year you feel so good because you have already made all of your notes and at that point what I did basically my entire exam season none of it was writing notes it was all posters mind maps past papers which if you haven't written your notes you're going to be so stressed about making all of those notes you might not have time to do as many past papers as you want or make as many mind maps because I think mind maps are great ways of getting back into your head because you have to read through it to select out the key points. I'll do a video on mind maps at some point. Or I may have already done one. We'll never know when this video is going to go out. <laughs> but yeah, it's so good to get the exam season go. <sighs> All my notes are made. I just need to memorise it. Because then if you are, do have to make notes, you know, it's like going on in your head. And you've got all of that, all of those notes from the entire section before to write for that one thing so really beneficial for exam season to make your notes as you go along which I really enjoy during exam season because everyone else is going I have to do all of my geography notes for this and I'm going huh, mine are already made I've made all my history notes I've made all my chemistry notes I've made all my biology notes for example and I started to feel proud of my revision not like I love my revision but more it's mine it's my work it's hard work I put in throughout the year and look how much I've done which is a very nice thing I, sometimes I numbered pages <laughs> just like because why not it's like I've done nine, I, ha I think I've got like a hundred pages of history revision like pretty much exactly A4 by the way this is like A4 double sided pages <laughs> which is quite a lot but that's the amount of history notes you need to do I think it takes me approximately 20 minutes to make notes on a full like fill a full A4 page of notes. If I'm doing diagrams, it might take 30. A5, it takes me 15 minutes because usually have diagrams are somewhere in there. And at AS, it takes you a lot longer to make notes than at GCSE because there's more information and yeah. But I felt proud of the stuff I'd done. I felt proud of being able to stick with it and make all my notes as I went along. And that's good. And I kind of found it useful to help me enjoy revising to make my notes interesting not just black and white on a page I hate 
black for notes. But yeah, I'm getting notifications. That's probably really loud for you because the speaker is like just there. Anyway, um, yeah, I hate black ink on a white page. It just looks bland. So I write in blue. Blue is more colourful, obviously, than black is. Um, and I underline things in red. That for me just helps to underline titles in red. And then I would write definitions in red. I just kind of worked along like that. I would draw diagrams. I would draw them in colour. I would use different colours of pens, usually just like green, blue, black and red, but that was our chemistry. I used a nice light blue as well and then also a purple I had. So yeah, if you make it interesting, you're more likely to want to make them. So I kind of started to enjoy just the, like having a nice page of notes done. And the last point is, I created like note making became a relaxing space for me it was like you know you go down you have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea put on some music and just work so I'm, does it sound boring kind of but if I want to listen to music I'm just going to like lie in bed and listen to music with a cup of coffee or just like listen to music and sit there why not do something and be able to listen to music but then also get something done now, I had to make sure that the music didn't affect my revision, so I listen to music in other languages because I don't fully understand it, which means that I'm not going to be distracted by it. But yeah, it just became like a relaxing space. For example, today, I came, well, I had a further maths homework. Did I do it with me? Yeah, it was my further maths homework I was revising, or not revising, just doing. And I had a cup of coffee and I put the music on, I'm just sitting there doing the homework and it's fine. I have, what else? I have a to-do list up. I have biology notes to make, chemistry notes to make, two PowerPoint or three PowerPoints to make <laughs> for various things. This and that's all I have a chemistry test this week and my biology test next week. But yeah. Yeah, that and I kinda just started to enjoy the whole process of revising through a combination of those factors. One thing which isn't good that I did was oh we have turned, gone to the dark side. There we go. The computer turned off. I did kind of if anything went wrong in my life, which obviously things will go wrong anyway, I was just like, revision, work, let me just like default to that, which it's not great. It does help me get things done if you're stressed, just like things are going wrong, let me just like get into work mode, but that's not great. It's not the best way to be. I should probably should have taken a couple more breaks, but I did kind of end up starting to enjoy revising, which means it's not as much of a chore, you don't feel like bad about doing it or if you have to you don't feel like you don't want to do it as much like obviously the times that I come home from school and it's like nope I'm not doing any work then you kind of have to do like something but yeah I ended up enjoying revision somewhat so thank you so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one bye